Um, cool. So, hi, I'm Raina. Um, I grew up in Queens, New York, um, and I grew up for the most part in a Christian household. Um, my mom started going to church when I was two years old, and I got saved when I was very young. I was about eight. And um, I, growing up, we would go to church every Sunday, and we were very involved in church. I was in the children's choir, and I got baptized around nine. So I grew up in church knowing a lot about God, knowing a lot about um, sort of like faith and like the traditions. Um, and I learned a lot. I had a lot of head knowledge. So when I got into high school, um, you know, on the church side, I was very involved in youth group and um, I would go on like every single high school retreat and, you know, you would go out into the quiet place. We would go out into Pennsylvania and we would be seeking God. And I was, you know, what you would call on fire for God. Um, and towards the end of my high school experience, I remember experiencing such severe anxiety. Um, I started to have really terrible panic attacks um, to the point where I would be home and my mom would just hold me and I'd be crying and crying and I would feel such fear. I'd be terrified just of the world. Like I was terrified to go out. I was terrified to do anything. I missed a lot of school by my senior year. I would say it was at that point when I started to have really, really severe anxiety that I started to like pull away and I started to question God. I started to question his existence and if he existed, did he really care? And, um, you know, was it worth having a relationship with him? And I graduated high school somehow, <laughs> some way, because it was really, really difficult. Um, went into college and I did all the college things. Um, I stopped going to church regularly while I was in college and I would start drinking with friends and messing around. Um, typical college things. And at the time in my sophomore year, I was dealing with a lot with my mom who got very sick and I was working overnight shift at Burger King and in school full time. And I wasn't, I still wasn't really seeking God or relying on God for anything. Um, so the anxiety got much worse and I, on the outside, I was doing well. Um, and I would tell people that I was okay and keeping it together. And I think people thought that I was doing really great, but on the inside, I was really just lost and broken. Um, fast forward to my senior year of college, um, I found a way to keep everything sort of down, keep the anxiety inside and not let it affect me graduating and just kind of like trying to fight through it on my own, in my own power. Um, and I started dating my now husband at the time. Um, and he knows, he had seen a lot of what I was going through again behind the scenes. Now I'm getting rained on. It came. So it started raining, so we're in a new place now. Uh, but we're just gonna continue as uh, life does. So, at this point, um, graduated college, I start dating my now husband, um, and we start to get a little involved with church. His parents at the time were pastors of a church, so I started coming back into like kind of the working side and doing the things and going every Sunday, even singing on the worship team. Um, but still, in my personal life, there was really no 
relationship. There was really no God. Um, and things start to kind of spiral at this point. And I got to the lowest place I've ever been. Um, it got to the point where I would burn my skin. Um, I would take a knife and I'd light it on the stove and I would burn myself. Um, and I was on medication at the time, like psychiatric medication prescribed from a doctor. And I, on two occasions, tried to overdose on my medication. And I had to go into the psych ward for a short period of time. And this was the lowest this was like, this was it. This was the point where I realized I couldn't, I could not save myself and that I needed God. Um, so we started going to a new church. I guess you could say I recommitted my life to God and I went regularly to church. I started praying again in my private time. I started reading my Bible and studying again and seeking him. And I started serving in a church, like actually serving. And I found people, I found a community that I could open up with and tell them exactly what was going on in my heart and in my life and share sort of my struggles with anxiety. And they went to bat with me and they would pray with me and they would encourage me. And having that community was um, a really important part of how I was able to come back and find new purpose in my life and find a new life in Christ. So now I am happily married. I have this beautiful baby girl. I'm serving um, in very meaningful ministry and I have purpose. Um, I have a peace that I don't always understand and I have hope for the future and I have a joy that even in, even in the most difficult season, because life doesn't just suddenly become perfect when we commit to Christ, but there's still joy in every season and my life has been completely changed.